Thank you, Ron. Coming up, the day on Wall Street and Jim Rogers handicaps the Russian stock market later in the hour. That should be interesting. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Friday edition of Market Wrap. I'm Bill Griffith. Hello. A lot of anticipation around next Monday's night's Academy Awards. And if you've ever dreamed of being a big shot studio mogul, you might want to check out the Hollywood Stock Exchange on the World Wide Web, which is making gold from the silver screen. The creators of this site have come up with a simulated stock market where participants can buy and sell shares in celebrities or movies using play money. The price of those holdings fluctuates according to supply and demand, and Hollywood's answer to inside information, some good gossip. For instance, when the Oscars were announced, the value of nominee Tom Cruise soared while the movie Evita took a hit. Well, here to tell us more is Max Kaiser. He's the president and founder of the Hollywood Exchange, joining us now from our Los Angeles bureau. Mr. Kaiser, nice to have you with us today. Hello, Terry. Well, where'd you get the idea for this exchange, and what's the point of it? The point of the exchange is to trade intellectual property like a stock market and allow investors from all over the world to buy and sell Hollywood properties and be a mogul. So uh, explain to me, I know, you know, Wall Street trades a company's stock based on earnings and earnings expectations and, you know, those kinds of corporate developments. What are the underlying fundamentals that move the stock, if you will, of a Tom, you know, you mentioned the, the Oscar nomination for Tom Cruise, but you've got John Travolta on there right now. You've got George Clooney. I mean, what, what moves those stocks right now? Exactly. The market's divided up into movie stocks and star bonds. The movie stocks are propelled by anticipated box office growth in the first four weeks of wide release, and the star bonds are based very similarly to what uh, David Bowie recently did, which is take some of his uh, revenue stream and collateralize that right. to future growth. So the David Bowie bonds are A, they've got a 9 and 3 quarter percent coupon, and he's been trading on the Hollywood Stock Exchange for a year before he actually did the deal. So using uh, uh, plausible accountability we can say that he got the idea from the hollywood stock exchange so uh, <laughs> and i'm sure but uh, we've got I'm over sure uh, eight did, max <laughs> we've got over 800 uh, star bonds trading including david bowie and the ones for the academy awards are all getting in position for how the awards are going to be uh, on, on monday so we've got some for example uh ray fines has been moving up surging up a lot of volume in the in his bond uh taking position ahead of the awards and there's other interesting situations What's the outlook for Best Picture, looking at all your trading? Best Picture, English Patient, um, looks good and uh, kind of predictable. It mirrors what the public predictably is doing. Right now we're seeing a lot of jockeying for position as you head into Monday. And then the big uh, after effect on mon Tuesday morning will be how people then reposition their portfolios for, for the next quarter, for the next six months. So are you saying that the, the, your market is, is predicting Ray Fiennes for actor? Uh, Ray Fiennes looks good. There's been a huge volume in Ray Fiennes. But again, you have to take into consideration the total return, which is the coupon on the bond and uh, his move as, uh, as a bond trading in the market, and then the possibility of his bond being upgraded uh, to a higher rating. Uh, thus, uh, you're going to get a higher valuation on that bond. We call the bond in and issue a, a new bond with a higher rating, and we, we call it a premium. So somebody like uh, Cuba Gooding, who's currently a double B-rated bond, could be called in and an A-rated bond issued, so you got a 20% premium plus his coupon plus the Academy Award buzz, so it's, it all wow. impacts your total return. Max, assuming this is an efficient market, what can uh, the Hollywood moguls out there learn from your trading? We're, you're learning two things. We give you two million Hollywood dollars, and you're learning both about Hollywood and Wall Street, because the, there's an attempt to make a simulation based on Wall Street is very accurate. We have our own for example, Hollywood Reserve Board Chairman, Dr. Zeros, who raises rates, interest rates up and down. <laughs> so uh, a couple of weeks ago, when we had the cloning scare, he put out a message saying he, he believes that this is going to be inflationary for the star bond market. Whether that's true or not, he, that, that was his thought. He started raising interest rates, and there was a 15% move down in the star bond market. He has since reversed himself, and the bonds have come back. What a relief. Exactly. Now, I know we're talking play money here, but how do you make real money on this? Do you sell advertising or what? A couple of different ways. Uh, we are building up to 500,000 accounts open on the exchange by the end of the year. And by the end of the year, or actually by Q3, we're hoping to offer to our individual investors an opportunity to invest in individual movie projects directly and own a real piece of a real independent film. Hmm. And there, therefore, the exchange becomes our marketing arm. Just don't take net points. Well, no, these would be gross points. Okay. These would be back-end gross points uh, divvied up amongst our, uh, our producers, if you will, who are traders on the exchange. But that's something really kind of looking ahead.
going well, forward, I believe, is what you like to say around here. Yes, indeed. Yeah. All right. Well, At the end of the day. We hope to have Thanks, you back Max. going forward. Thanks, Max. <laughs> Max Kaiser, he's the president of the Hollywood Stock Exchange. And bonds and ratings. Bond and exchange. You know